So Susie and Sharon are back. This is a car. No, you can't tell. Let's make it look a little more like a car. No, not really. Car broke down. Susie and Sharon are going to push on the car. For whatever reason, Susie's decided that instead of pushing straight on like Sharon, she's going to push at an angle. So we are going to draw a picture of what that push looks like with forces. Again, I'm making my axes. So Y and X. And here's Susie. Susie's kind of pushing like that direction. And Sharon, she's just pushing straight on. So with somebody pushing at an angle and somebody pushing straight on, how much net force does the car feel? So are we moving the core? car with more force or less force than if they were both pushing it in, in uh, straight on. So let's see. So we're going to call this guy, I don't know, let's say 4 in the X and uh, I want to make this a little longer. Go. We'll call this 6 in the Y and this one we'll call 4 in the Y. So Susie has force components of 4 newtons in the X hat. Uh, looking at that I'm realizing my lines don't match. Uh, so we'll just call this Five. So five newtons in the x hat direction and six newtons in the y hat. Now notice nothing's negative because everything is in the first quadrant, so we're good there. Let's see what Sharon's doing. Sharon is pushing with four newtons in only the x hat direction and zero newtons in the y hat. Oh, I just did that backwards. Sorry about that. She's only in the y hat, not the x hat. So zero newtons in the x hat plus four newtons in the y hat. Now again, we want the resulting force. How much oomph is the car feeling? So we've defined these, and you'll notice that this is just the coordinate system. So I came out some sort of units in the X, and up some sort of units in the Y, and in this one it was all in the Y, nothing in the X. <clears throat> so it's just some sort of units. This could be newtons, it could be meters, it could be velocity, it could be any sort of all sorts of things, and we're going to see soon it's going to be electric charge. But so this this is very flexible for what it can be. But what's the net force going to be? So our resulting vector is going to be five newtons in the x hat direction and ten newtons in the y hat. Now we actually have something to do as far as the magnitude, but let's kind of get a picture of where that resultant force is. Let me use a different color pen. So we're coming out 5 and we're going up 10. So this is probably about right here. And our resultant force then, actually it would be more like this. Bonk. It's going to be out here somewhere. <clears throat> but we don't know what that magnitude is. Now I'm wondering, are you seeing something here? Something that looks remarkably like a triangle? So when we're doing our magnitudes, just remember that this is the same as A, B, C, where our resultant is the hypotenuse of this right triangle. It's indeed a right triangle if you actually drew straight lines. So this is just a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and the magnitude of our resultant is going to be 
what C is after we've taken the radical. So now let's do that. Magnitude of R is square root of 5 newtons squared plus 10 newtons squared. Or the square root of 25 newtons squared plus 100 newtons squared. So the square root of uh, 125 is what? 5 root 5? Oh, hold on. Ah, not fun. It was indeed 5 root 5 and, oops, wrong question. The magnitude of force of the resultant vector is 11.18 newtons. So that's how hard they're pushing the car with their respective forces. So can you look at this and tell me which one is going to have a larger magnitude? We can look at Sharon's and see that she's got a net magnitude of 4 for her force that she's exerting. But Susie's got the square root of 25 plus the square root of 36. So right there we know that Susie's doing a lot more work than Sharon. Sharon's just kind of hanging on. So maybe that's why Sharon's pushing straight on. So this is two-dimensional with forces. The next thing we're going to do is decompose it to get the vectors to look like this.